Where is my tax refund? This is a question we get asked by our clients all the time after they've done everything right and they still haven't received their tax refund. So what's the deal? Well, in this video, I wanna help eliminate all the questions and some of the confusion around where your tax refund is, how you can get it faster, and why you may or may not be getting a tax refund in 2021. Stay tuned. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean with Life Accounting, the accounting firm that helps businesses reduce taxes and maximize profits. So if you haven't received your tax refund in 2021 yet, then I have about four to five steps that you can take to find out exactly what is going on. And then I have another four to five things that you need to consider as well. Let's go ahead and dive into the first action step that you can take if you're looking for your tax refund. Number one, use the IRS website tool called Where's My Refund? Now this is something that a lot of you may already be aware of and possibly have already tried, but if you haven't yet, here's exactly what you need to know. So you can go to irs.gov and you will see at the very top a link that says get your refund status. Click on that and you will be able to put in some information and then find out exactly what is the status of your tax refund. The three pieces of information that you will need is your social security number, your filing status, and then the exact amount of your tax refund. If you are off by even a single digit on any of the information, then this tool will not work for you. So for the social security number, you wanna use the number of the primary tax filer, not the spouse. Okay, for the filing status, it's pretty straightforward. You need to put whether or not you filed as a single person, filed as married and jointly, et cetera. And for the exact tax refund amount, you can look on your tax return on line 35A to see the exact refund amount. So this is a quick and easy tool to discover where your refund is. And remember the information has to be 100, I repeat 100% accurate. Hey Sean, look, I can hit this target with 100% accuracy. Okay, yeah, just like that. Now the status of your tax refund will be in one of these three stages, which are your tax return is received, your tax return is approved or rejected, and your refund was sent. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at all of these statuses, what they mean, and how you can troubleshoot them. Okay, in the first status, you will see whether or not your return has been received or not. So clearly, if you have not received your tax refund and the IRS has indicated that they don't have your return, then you need to look into that a little bit further. You may need to check and see if your return sent if you did an e-file or electronic filing. Sometimes if the internet blew out and you lost connection, then your tax return could be stuck in the software. In addition to that, some tax software have safeguards in place that will automatically reject sending your tax return to the IRS if it is missing some key information like your date of birth or your last name. Now, any good tax software will be able to indicate whether your return was successfully sent to the IRS or not. Another reason why the IRS may not have your tax return is if you filed it through the mail. Due to everything that has happened in 2020, the IRS are seeing some major mail delays, which could hinder them being able to process your mail and your tax return quickly. That's why at Life Accounting, we always recommend just simply doing an e-file or electronic filing if you want your return to be received as soon as possible. All right, now the second status is whether or not your tax tax return was approved or rejected. So if the tax return was approved, then you will simply progress to the next status, which is getting your refund sent. But if your tax return was rejected, if it was rejected, then you got to start all the way over which means you have to redo your tax return, which means getting your tax refund in 2021 becomes much longer. So here's two quick reasons, the major reasons why I see tax returns being rejected. Number one, and honestly, probably the biggest reason I see tax returns get rejected is when there is a typo in the area of the first name, the last name, the date of birth, or even the social security number. If the IRS cannot verify who you are within the tax return, it is likely going to get rejected. 
well, not even likely, it will get rejected. Now, the number two reason why I see a lot of tax returns getting rejected is if you claim something like a child that someone else has already claimed. So if someone like a family member or a spouse claims a dependent and then files their taxes before you, then they are gonna be the ones that gets the tax credit or the deduction and you are going to get rejected. And I've seen this happen before actually many times. So if this does happen to you, I'm sorry, there's really nothing that you can do at least immediately. You just have to go to the person that claimed the dependent that you were planning on claiming and then work something out between the two of you or file what is called an amended tax return. Which by the way, if you happen to have to file an amended tax return, the process for getting your tax refund in 2021 can take eight weeks or even more. All right, so clearly if you're looking to get your tax refund fast, then that should be your last option. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the third status, which is your tax refund has been sent. If you get this status, then that means your refund has been sent to you either via mail or directly deposited into your bank account. But I've seen people get this status and they still don't have their refund. So what exactly is going on? Here's two big things that I see when you have this status and you don't have your refund. Number one, if the IRS says your tax refund for 2021 has been sent and you filed by the mail, then try to give it at least seven to 10 days to actually come to your mailing address. Again, there has been some major mail delays that have been going on. Now, after about 10 days, if you still don't have it, then go back to your tax return and make sure that you gave the IRS the correct address. I've seen before with our clients that sometimes they give the IRS an old address or a secondary address like a family member or a spouse. If this is the case, then you will want to go to the IRS website, log into your account, and then update your address. Now, if your status is sent and these two things don't help you, then keep watching to see if it could be something else. Okay, so if you chose to get your refund directly deposited and you don't see it in your account and your status was sent, here's what you you need to look into. First, call your bank and see if your direct deposit is on its way and it just simply hasn't cleared yet. That will help a lot of the times. Now, if it doesn't, then go back to your tax return and make sure that you gave the IRS the correct bank account. Okay, this is a big one and I've seen this happen and it is the worst possible outcome because one of two things could happen. For one, the tax refund could have been deposited into someone else's account, which could be very difficult to reverse. There's gonna be a lot of red tape, okay? You're gonna have to go through the bank and go through the IRS and get confirmations, and we all know how slow both of them can be. The second scenario is that the tax refund bounces back to the IRS because the deposit didn't go through. And when that happens, the IRS just sends a check through the mail, which again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your address is up to date. So log into your IRS account and make sure they have the right address. And remember, there are mail delays for people who've already submitted their tax return accurately. So I would imagine that it would take even longer for someone who did not submit their information correctly. And the last time I seen this scenario play out, it took about eight months for my client to receive their tax refund. So if you haven't filed yet, or when you plan to file in the future, make 1000% sure that you have given your accountant or the IRS the correct bank account number for your tax refund. Now, if your bank account numbers are correct and your status still says your refund has been sent, then we still need to dig a little bit deeper. Here are three more things that you need to consider. Number one, you owe taxes from the previous year. Because if you owe taxes, then it is very possible that the IRS will see that and then use your tax refund to apply against your tax liability. This is pretty obvious, but I see all the times when clients just simply forget about their tax liabilities that they still need to pay off when they're only thinking about their tax refund. All right, now reason number two, you may owe someone money. So if you owe someone money, especially like in a government environment, for example, you owe child support, and it is very possible that your tax refund in 2021 
can be garnished and used to support your other government liabilities. Now the semi good news is that you will likely know if this happens to you because the IRS will usually send a letter confirming what your tax refund was and what they used to pay any liabilities. All right, and the final third reason and also very common, okay? Number three, your tax accountant could have took your tax refund for themselves. Okay, so if you did not pay your accountant an upfront fee to do your taxes, then some systems are set up to take a cut of your tax refund for their tax fee. So for example, let's say if you were supposed to get back a $800 tax refund and your tax accountant also charges $800 as a tax filing fee for their services, you would end up actually getting no money, right? And this happens a lot, especially with major tax franchises. And most accountants will tell you upfront so you know exactly what to expect. But there are some very sketchy tax people who will overlook this information and hide it from you. Some tax companies will even give you a loan for your refund in advance that you will actually have to pay back later. And usually you're gonna have to pay it back with interest. Okay, so consider some of these things because they are very valid and often overlooked and a big reason why you may not be seeing any deposits into your account or checks in your mail, even though the status says your tax refund has been sent. Now, if you checked all of this and you are still waiting to get your tax refund and you are 100% sure you're supposed to get a refund and that you don't owe anyone, then the IRS could just be experiencing some delays on their end and getting your refund to you. And they suggest waiting up to 21 days. And after a crazy 2020 with all the stimulus checks, the unemployment benefits, the loan programs, it is not difficult to imagine that the workload for the IRS has increased and they are likely experiencing some delays. The IRS even puts on their website a notice of some of these mail-in delays. So you can check that out right here. The IRS says that nearly 7 million returns have not yet been processed. This is roughly three times the total a year ago. So the biggest thing that you can do if you checked off all these things that I just mentioned is to just be patient and know that eventually your tax refund in 2021 will come. Now, if you're still super concerned and it's been more than three months, then I would advise calling the IRS even though they say not to, and explain to them your specific situation. So in summary, as you can tell, there are a lot of self-inflicted reasons why you may not have received your tax refund in 2021. And as a tax professional, checking my clients and checking myself before I assume something with the IRS is always the first step. Okay, so I hope this helps. If you have more questions or if you are comfortable sharing your tax refund stories with us, please write them in the comment section below and tell us specifically what is going on. All right, well, that's it for this video. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm Sean, and I'll see you in my next video.